because wiring provides safety to humans and machines appliances. We are now going to learn step-by-step -step process for pipe earthing used in industries. Why do we need earthing or grounding? To avoid electrical shock, to protect equipment from ground fault. Ground fault relay is more sensitive and trips faster than overcurrent relay. To protect from lightning and switching surge, to provide electrical noise control, to provide protection from fire, to reduce arc flash hazards. Objectives of earthing. As we discussed, now in detail we will know why we need earthing connection in electrical or electronics equipment. To provide safety to personnel during normal and fault conditions by limiting step and touch potential. To assure correct operation of electrical devices, the star points in CT and PT wiring circuits need to be earned to prevent damage to the electrical and electronic apparatus. To dissipate lightning, all metallic enclosures need to be connected to earth. In DC system and electronic circuit boards, earthing connections need to be done as per the design requirements. To stabilize voltage during transient conditions and to minimize the probability of flashover during transients. To divert stray radio frequency energy from sensitive audio, video, control and computer equipment. Classification of earthing. Earthing broadly can be divided in following. 1. System earthing. In this a part of substation is directly connected to grounding grid like LV neutral of star connected transformer, earth switch, surge arrester connection to ground etc. In this condition, if imbalanced current created then without affecting to other phase imbalance, current will flow to ground. 2. Structure, Equipment, Safety Earthing In this metallic body of equipments, devices is connected to grounding grid to prevent electric shocks to any personnel touching that equipment or device, like transformer tank body earthing, circuit breaker body earthing, Panels, outer body, earthing, etc. What needs to be earthed and how? In DC3 wire system, the middle conductors should be earthed. For equipotential bonding or earthing of all the electrical or electronic systems, apparatus in nearby. For system earthing, sometimes. Resistance earthing is also used in industries or power plants where the generation is nearby and therefore the fault current is very high. The purpose is to reduce the value of ground fault current. For this, the neutral point of the LT side star connected winding to earth using a resistance in series. This neutral wire should not be connected or mixed with a direct earthing connection anywhere. Sometimes, some large rating equipment will need to be earthed at two separate points. This is called double earthing. Earth pin of 3-pin lighting plug sockets and 4-pin power plug should be efficiently and permanently earthed. At least one strand of stay wires, which are for overhead lines, should connect to the earth. The term earthing or grounding simply means connecting the electrical system or equipment to the ground using a suitable conductor. Such a ground connection provides a common return path for safe discharge of electricity to the ground. An effective earthing system aims to providing protection to human life and equipment against dangerous potentials under fault conditions. Maintaining zero touch and step potential. Maintaining lowest earthing resistance. Components of earthing system. Earth continuity conductor, earthing lead, earth electrode. Methods of earthing. 1. Pipe earthing. In pipe earthing system, a galvanized steel-based pipe is placed vertically in a wet and it is one of the most common types of earthing. 2. Plate earthing. In these types of earthing, a plate is made up of copper or galvanized iron, which is placed vertically to the ground pit, at least 3 meters in length, inside the ground and one should maintain the earth moisture condition around the plate earthing system for a better electrical grounding system. Three. Rod earthing. In these types of earthing, 
A copper rod with galvanized steel pipe is placed upright in the ground physically or by using a hammer and to a preferred value. The lengths of the embedded electrodes in the earth decrease the resistance of earth. At a certain depth, the rod used for this purpose is buried inside the earth, which safely the short circuit current will be diverted to the ground. For areas which are sandy in character, this system of earthing is suitable and this system of earthing is very cheap. Generally for industries, we use the pipe and plate earthing. Now we will see step-by-step -step process for chemical earthing, which is one kind of pipe earthing. In conventional pipe earthing, the area surrounding the pipe is filled with layers of charcoal, salt or an earth reactivation compound. But in chemical earthing, we will use chemical compound. You are seeing a pipe electrode that is 10 feet in length and 50 millimeters in diameter. As you are seeing, we have already made a digged well, that is, 10 feet in deep and 150 millimeter diameter. One new earthing electrode is wrapped with transparent plastic. Now before putting it in digged well, we should remove the plastic wrap on it. Now we are putting the earthing electrode in the well. Now we will put chemical compound. Chemical compound is a backfill compound which consists 75% gypsum, 20% bentonite clay and 5% sodium sulfate. The gypsum, which is calcium sulfate, absorbs and retains moisture and adds reactivity and conductivity to the mixture. Since it contracts very little, when moisture is lost, it will not pull away from the ground rod or surrounding earth. The bentonite ensures good contact between ground rod and earth by its expansion. Bentonite resistivity is found to be about 2.5 ohm meters, which is reasonably conductive. The usefulness of bentonite is limited due to high volume sensitivity to moisture causes expand 300% to its dry volume and shrink when moisture lost during long dry seasons. It expands and contracts so much with moisture content it can pull away from the earth electrode and surrounding soil when moisture is lost. While the sodium sulfate prevents polarization of the earth electrode by removing the gases formed by current entering the earth through the rod, the backfill mixture should be covered with 12 inches of excavated soil. This mixture is superior to chemical salts since it is much more enduring. As you are seeing, we are putting backfill compound. After that, we are putting some water and after that, some good soil. This will repeat till we reach at the ground level. Now earth electrode completely filled with backfill compound. Now earthing system is ready for connection. Measurement of Earth Resistance Earth resistance is measured with a digital earth tester. It can test the resistance across a range of currents and distances. It consists of a voltage source, ohm meter to measure resistance and spikes that are staked into the ground for measuring. You can measure soil resistance using the three-point method and resistivity by the four-point method. We can see to the earth testing diagram for connections and testing. Now we will see step-by-step -step process to measure the earth pit resistance. To measure earth resistance as you are seeing, we are using digital earth tester. Red color probe from earth tester C1 terminal will connect with earth electrode. Blue color probe as you are seeing is potential probe of which one terminal connected with spike fix at 20 meter distance from test earth electrode and other terminal we are connecting with earth tester. SP2 terminal. Third red color probe which we say current probe of which one terminal connected at spike fix at around 40 meter distance from earth electrode and other terminal connected with digital meter C2 terminal. All the spikes should be fixed in one line with the earth test electrode. In this method three points of ground contacts are considered that consists of the earth electrode under test C1, a current probe spike C2, which is inserted at adequate distance from the earth electrode, which is under test and voltage probe spike SP2, which is inserted at some distance between earth electrode under test C1 and current probe spike C2. With this method, 
The digital earth testers used to inject current into the tower footing earth electrode under test. The current then flows through the earth to the remote current probe and returns to the tester. As the current flows through the earth, a voltage drop is created. This voltage drop is proportional to the amount of current flow and the resistance of the earth electrode to earth. The voltage probe is used to measure this voltage drop and the meter then measures both the amount of current flow and the resulting voltage drop. The resistance measured at several locations, moving the voltage probe at regular intervals. During measurement, the position of the current probe was moved far enough away from the earth electrode under test so that the voltage probe can lie outside the effective resistance areas of both the earth electrode and the other test electrode. This is because there may be overlapping of the resistance areas which can cause a steep variation in the measured resistance. Now we have selected three pole mode in the earth tester and pressing the test button. Earth resistance value coming around 2 ohm. This earth value is good now we can connect it with the system for grounding. Standards Specifications for earthing Various specifications for earthing follows as mentioned below. An earthing electrode should be placed at least more than 1.5 meter away from building. Maintain at least 3 meter distance between earth pits. The earth resistance should be low enough to cause the flow of current sufficient to operate the protective relays or blow fuses. Its value is not constant as it varies with the weather because it depends on moisture. We need to put water in the pit frequently during summer season to keep the earth resistance low. The earth wire and earth electrode should be of same material. The earthing electrode should always be placed in a vertical position inside the earth or pit so that it may be in contact with all the different earth layers of soil. In this video, we have seen the importance of earthing, type of earthing, how to do earthing, how to measure the earthing pit resistance and what kind of standard follows for earthing pit.